Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to cover some RWR stuff in, in DCS. Uh, I play, as you know, I play BMS a lot. Um, I wanted to get into DCS so just to see what it's like. We I mean, all know there's differences between DCS and BMS, but I wanted to showcase my observations coming from BMS and playing DCS in the F-16 that DCS has to offer. There's definitely some stuff I have to get used to, and I hope I can get used to it, being that I've been playing BMS for years. Feel free to explain your thoughts and opinions down below in the description, and hopefully you enjoy this, and I'll see you in the next one. So I know how the RWR, RWR works. I know it's not distance-based. I, I know how it works. It's based on threatening the, the threat and the strength of the radar that is being emitted, and it categorizes that as the inner, middle, and outer ring. However, in DCS, I notice my wingman are always on the outer ring. Right now, my number two is this is 20 miles 10 miles so in the between it's five miles so they're less than five miles behind me but on the rwr they still come up as the the outer perimeter there this do doesn't just happen with your your friendly wingman it happens with the the other aircraft as well so sometimes it's, it's uh, kind of difficult to to tell what's a threat and what's not it does change depending if the target or the emitter is locked onto you or has fired onto you it seems like there are three stages. There is search mode, which is in the outer perimeter. The middle is more of a locked uh, middle ground. So once something locks onto you, it goes on this middle ring here, the middle line. After it's fired, then it transi transitions to the threat, the lethal zone, the inner ring here. So now the MiG-29 has popped up. They are about 75 miles out here so I can pick them up my RWR picks them up 75 miles away from me uh, there's some more over here I picked them up as well so I can pick them up pretty far away and they're, they're on the outer outer perimeter which makes sense because they're 70 miles away this 29 here it's actually SU-27 but it categorizes as a 29 uses the similar radar so right now they're 30 miles away still on the outer perimeter and I'll see where the transition goes to as they get closer. There are 26 miles now. There's 20 still in the outer perimeter. So I gave these air aircraft no missiles, so they're going to keep going forward. So I merged with the this 29 here and it's or SU-27 and it's uh still in the outer ring there, outer perimeter, not even transitioning to anywhere. So 29,000 feet and closing very fast. See that now the F or the F, the 29 is locked me now, and it transitioned to the middle portion of this RWR. So the middle, the middle ring, the middle line here. So I'm just gonna watch how close they get and see what changes. So now it's 23 miles away. It's priority. There's a launch. So the moment it launches out, it it uh it went into the middle ring there, the inner ring. At 17 miles. There has to be a launch for it to transition to the inner ring. So I'm in BMS. My wingman is within a mile from me. Come up on the inner ring because of its proximity to me and the strength of the radar coming from... The strength of the signal coming from his radar. The SU-27 over here, it's about... Seems like it's 40 miles away, being that's on a 40-mile 40, 40 scope. I'm going to lock him up here, 37 miles away, on the outer ring there. Notice how my wingman is not locked onto me, but their radar emissions are still searching. Therefore, the strength of that radar is very high, being that they're very close, placing them on the inner the inner lethal ring on my RWR. See how the 27 has, has migrated from the outer ring to the to middle ring here on the line? They're not even locking me up, but they still moved in because of their, their closer proximity of the, the 7 miles there. And now it transitioned to the, to the middle ring there. Let's see how he's locked on to me 33 miles away, but it's on the inner ring because he's locked on. So that's the priority when it comes to the RWR based on the strength. I'm going to fire here. It's already already fired for now, so I'm going to fire back. That goes straight to the inner ring, and that's a missile. So I just wanted to show the differences between DCS and BMS when it comes to the RWR. This is especially helpful if you're coming from DCS going to BMS uh, to understand what the differences are. It also helps if you're coming from BMS 
going to DCS, it helps in that case as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, please subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.